Hey everybody, welcome back to Lake. Today we're going to be starting off on uh, Wednesday. This is our second work day, so let's see what our next day of work has to offer. Last video we met a few interesting people and did a lot of shitty driving, crashed into Good a lot of shit. Morning, and let's continue on. The day as we always do with a PO positive or pet P, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet P. Now this radio station's trying to be? suck. It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. I bet. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But I want a piece. First. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? Sure, let's hear some music. Is my radio on? I don't hear anything. All right, let's look at our map. Let's see what we got going on for today. Let's look at our list. Not too bad. Let's um, let's go to the furthest uh, stuff first. This package at the motel. Let's go there. And then we'll work our way back around. So where is this? This is, well, we don't know the address, do we? Let's just, oh, when we mark the waypoint, I think we do. No? I don't know where that is, but that's where we're going. We'll take either direction around the lake, I guess. It really doesn't matter. It's about halfway in the middle anyway. And here we are. Beautiful lake view again with the sun rising. You know what, actually, we're going to pass, uh, let's stop right here. We got a delivery. We had shit to deliver all over the place today. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Stop being so nosy. Guess that's what it's like in a small town, huh? Oh, we got another pat, another letter. Where? Right here. Oh, crazy cat lady again. She's getting a letter this time. I don't even want to talk to her. Oh, ah, damn dear. it! She's gonna make me so talk to her. You could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next he, well, he just wasn't. He's almost catatonic. Sorry. <laughs> when I said catatonic. It. Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer. Hell no. Mr. What do I he look like? the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. I'm not taking him. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can do that. Driving around living creatures is a little above my pay grade. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. I suppose rules are rules. But can you make an exception? No. To poor little Mortimer? Why don't you take him? Well, it's my first week, so... No, I can't. I... I understand... I'll find someone else. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meryl. Yeah, that's right. I don't care about your damn cat. I'm not helping anybody in this town. Getting out of here. Oh, there's another letter right around the corner. Drop that one off real quick. Here's your mail. That was a perfect delivery. Look at that. Stopped in the right place, got right out. I feel like a professional now. Okay. Let's go around the lake like we started. 
Oh, that cracks me up every time I crash. I don't know why. Okay, let's keep going. I guess we'll deliver anything else we see on the way, but we're going to go all the way around to the lake and deliver that one package in the back. Back side of the lake, that is. There's the music. I must have turned it off before. The radio is a nice little touch in the game. Oh, shit. So I wonder if we're going to have some kind of interesting uh, twist in this game. Like we end up delivering drugs or dead bodies or something because uh, I'm expecting some sort of twist out of this, I hope. Okay, here's our package delivery coming up. Is it here? Yep, the motel. Four hundred lake. Four hundred. Now oh, there's the office. Oregon Trail Motel. Very nice little place. Oh, hey, buddy. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Hey, dickhead. Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute. I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. <laughs> Is that a parcel for me? No. It's for your mother. No. It's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. You're welcome. I delivered all your porn for you. Nah, just leave. He's a dickhead. <laughs> Is that it? What can I do in here? You talk to him again? That's it? Anything else? Nope. Can I take something? Providence Oaks? Ah. That looks like a beautiful painting. I love it. Abstract art. It sucks. Nice decor. Alright. Let's see where our next delivery is. Let's get back in our truck. Um, everything is up on the other side of town on Main Street, so uh, we'll find all that, I guess. So let's uh, let's go back the way we came. Well. It's, Pretty easy not to get lost. All you gotta do is keep driving around the lake. So, not too bad. We'll uh, we'll drive around again and um, find Main Street, deliver the rest of the shit. I wish this mail truck went a little faster. That'd make the driving a little more fun. Driving feels a little sluggish. Oh, well. Good time to get out and take another look around. <laughs> what do we got over here? Anything pretty? Nope. Same old shit. Alright, let's go. Heading back to Main Street. Oh, can we talk to the uh, mechanic again?
Remember, if there's anything wrong with the goose, I can fix it. Well, she's too slow. Can you make her faster? Guess not. All right. I think we're almost back to Main Street. <laughs> there it is, Main Street. All right, we got a couple deliveries up here to the right. Let's hit these. Oh, that's a parking lot. Got two letters to deliver back here. These two houses. Where's the mailbox? Oh, there it is. And there you go. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Stop being so damn nosy. God, she's one nosy bitch. All right, we got another package right around the corner here. Oops. Where are we going? The general store again? Oh no, what's that? The fuck shack? What, is the, what kind of town is this? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, it's the flick shack. Let's see what's going on in here. VHS and Betamax. Yes. Oops. Left the package in the truck. Oh, damn it. You suck. Don't you learn how to do your job by now? Rent or buy. Albums and LPs. Oh, this looks so classic. What kind of movies do we got in here? Repo Woman. Back to the present. <laughs> what is that instead of Flash Dance? What does that say? I don't know. This is so funny, though. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. That's supposed to mean. <laughs> I could say the same thing about you. You could, but you'd be wrong. I look exactly like I own a video rental place. What does if that mean? If you were looking to cast a movie and needed someone to play the owner of a video rental place, you look just like one. a picture of me to the call sheet. <laughs> True enough. I don't know what that's I'm supposed Meredith, to mean. By the way, Meredith Weiss, Angie Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Depression. Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here. Came to do myself a favor. Hmm. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So your dream was to rent out videotapes? Yes, it was. Not a dream, per se. More like a vision. <laughs> Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch a flick, right? Well, other than enjoy the scenery. Scenery schmeery. Why stare <laughs> at a boring lake when you can go to outer space and watch the Death Star get blown up? Hmm, maybe I should watch more movies. Yeah, maybe you should. It was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <sighs> Little on the nose, don't you think? Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. I probably won't get to it right away. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. Yeah, I'm sure about that. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. 
Well, they certainly established are both a miss. <laughs> Is that it? Now what? Hope you like the postman always rings twice. You only have to watch it once. <laughs> Is that an inside joke? I don't get it. Is that it? Oh, whatever. This is really funny how they made all these videotapes look like, uh, you know, their intended movies. A Kung Fu Kid. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. What do we got left? I think we're about done. We've got 402 Pine Street and 104 East 3rd Street. And those are straight ahead. Okay. Our last package. That's lighter than I thought. Looks like a hat. It's a hat box. I guess we gotta put it on the porch. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we landed in the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiment. What the hell is going on in there? Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute, Commander Grace. Permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Nice. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> For real? Y you don't recognize No, not with all that shit on you. When you see her? Wait a minute. K? Great. K? I tested my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Barry. Evans. I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Of course you married the high school quarterback. Be right there, Commander Grace. Scanning for alien life forms that's my little scientist back there she's crazy about space travel as you may have guessed even after the whole challenger thing you married quarterberry and had kids i had no idea <laughs> sounds like well, she's mocking her obviously I a believe. lot can happen in 22 years so i guess so so i heard you were back in town for a while from maureen that's right I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Uh -oh. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Of course you do. Small That's town. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. Very interesting. Very awkward reunion with your best friend. Well, let's return to the post office. 
Guess we're done working for the day. I'm just back up into this guy's car. There we go. <laughs> That's end our work day. Well, it's another day of work done. It's Wednesday evening. And of course our mother's calling again. Oh, it's Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you got plenty of time, right? No, fuck no. I guess, but that's nice for a change. I don't want to do shit. Need a favor? No! I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> no, not really. Uh... I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about? I'm on about? vacation, dick. It's not much. It's just a pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. Yeah, that's 99 too many. Office, right? I guess. Awesome. Mail there's no way to get out of it. Possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> Add it. He's a real seven. asshole. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. I got a jet? Seriously? <laughs> uh, I don't want to watch that dumb movie. What else can we do? Let's read the book. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Oh, God, this was a mistake. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The How long is she going to read this shit? Collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, please stop she heard reading the this. Deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Madam. Oh, thank God. Thursday morning. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. Hmm. Well, this looks like another good place to stop. We are getting ready to start another work day, so we will uh, come back in the next video. We'll continue on with our uh, next day of work. We've almost made it through a week. Today's Thursday, so uh, we'll start this. Uh, we'll start this off in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.